Welcome to Rauda Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauda Reacts videos. This time it's all about Marvel's Secret Invasion miniseries starring Samuel L. Jackson and then some. Um, this is a miniseries with only six episodes, so this is not like first season and then there's supposed to be more like that. But who knows, sometimes big corporation plans change accordingly, whatever is the audience reaction like and whatever, like if they can milk the cow and all that stuff. But now let's tune ourselves for the trailer, I've already seen the whole show, so now I'm picking up the vibes from the trailer and giving you whether or not this show is worth taking a look. Um, obviously, this tells a story about Marvel Universe and with the comics and all that stuff. And Samuel L. Jackson is Nick Fury, shield agent, super agent if you will. No superpowers, but he's so skilled and so experienced that, technically speaking, he's almost like a superhero. So this takes place in Russia. There are terrorist things and uh, everything gets kind of a political. It feels, at first especially, the first few uh, minutes, maybe even hours, this feels more like, okay, it's not really Marvel, there are no superheroes. They just talk about them. And there are a lot of like age and stuff, almost like modern day, modern days James Bond, except they are shapeshifter called Skrulls. Skrulls are of course an old uh, space race, uh, a species coming from outer space and you know, being able to shapeshift. And that's where the plot thickens. I mean, you have shapeshifters which are trying to invade the world, trying to, you know, take the earth from people and all that stuff. And that's under the superpowers, which are not superpowers as the United States and Russia as such as, you know, superpower people. Except that they are none, because it's all about Nick Fury being this agent, and then you have this agent action, which is pretty goddamn cool if you ask me. And I kind of like what they're doing with shape-shifting concept and being a kind of a pol like political drama mixed with action. James Bond, yeah, you have it right there with the Marvel plan, the Marvel sticker on it. Now the thing here is towards the end, of course, you have to kind of bring something Marvel-like into the game and that's where superpowers take over the guns and all that stuff. And in my opinion, the ending is very anti-climatic. I like the villain, which you might already see in there. I like what you know Nick Fury is like, played by Samuel L. Jackson. I like. James Bond context and none of them are really great even though entertaining and somewhat good but the thing here is it comes to the effects look super sloppy as if they were done like some 20 years ago. some Harry Potter stuff Heroes show had the same thing, and I was like so disappointed. I mean, at least you should have still <laughs> the kind of a blood stage shirt, even without the bullet hole. These are details, but they kind of give me a little bit sloppy, lazy feeling about the overall thing here. Like, it could have been better, and now it's just quite entertaining. In my opinion, a very typical uh, quality level as James Bond movies. Entertaining in the agent story sense, 
but is it really good? Not so much. So my verdict for this would be 7 out of 10, and that includes my Marvel fanaticism. Not fanatic as such, but I mean, I'm a fan. I still have hundreds of Marvel comics in my closet, which I was just organizing. So based on my background, I probably should have liked this even more. But it's a 7, not an 8, not to mention 9 or so. But if you're a Marvel fan, if you like Nick Fury, and if you like Samuel Jackson, no reason why not to watch it. Other than that, probably a no-go. Thanks for watching the review and reaction video. Should you have comments or questions, let me know. Bye-bye.